Hi guys, welcome to my channel and I'm just gonna start with moisturizing my lips. This is the EOS Lip Balm and Summer Fruit. Um, this is a Morning Burst um, Hydrating Moisturizer. I'm just starting all my face. Yeah, I know it's morning. It's That moisturizer is for morning, but whatever, that's what I use. So I'm just blending all that in my face. Yeah, I have a lot of imperfection, guys. My face is not perfect. So, yeah. What's next? <laughs> How are you guys, by the way? I'm looking for something. So, um, yeah, I'm just blending. Keep blending it. I'm, I'm not sure if I wear primer, but I know I don't. So this is the foundation I'm using. It's the L'Oreal um, True Match um, Classic Tan No. 7. I'm shaking it and just put in a little bit on the back of my hand and let it run a little bit. And yeah, so that brush that I'm going to be using is from eBay. Um, I will do a review later for you guys. And I know this foundation looks yellow or it looks that it's not match my skin, but I promise you it do match my skin tone. So I'm just tippling and buffing it out, and as you can see, it's covering pretty well my imperfection, and I love it. It's lightweight, it lasts all day, and what can I say about that? It's my baby. So I'm just blending and blending and blending it all over. I already did my eyebrows in this tutorial, guys, so um, I'm going to do a separate video on it if you guys want to see it or if you guys care. So yeah, I'm just finishing applying my foundation, which it always takes me forever. So I decided to make this video a slow motion because I wanted you guys to see like in step by step what I do and not going by like really fast. So yeah, I'm just buffing it out, making sure everything is nice and blended. My faces that I make. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with this Wet n Wild palette right here. It's a limited edition, so I don't know if they still had it. And that um, Revlon single shadow on purple or lilac. This is the Wet n Wild primer. I am um, taking a day primer. I'm gonna be applying that all over my lid love it i love this primer it really works for me and it works really good it don't crease and it stays you shadow in place all day so i'm just blending all that all over my lid and a little bit up on my brow bone not trying to mix my brows because i did my brows already for this video and yeah so that's the final results so i'm just looking for something but i don't know where is it mm, i'm just putting tape on uh, on the um the my inner corner guys so i can have a precise line with it i like doing it this way because it makes my line perfect and i had to now use concealer or nothing everything it's just going to be so perfect and I just love it I'm gonna take a buffing brush from eBay as well also so I'm going to take this color right here so I don't know which color is it because I can see it and I'm going to be applying that color all over my transition and just applying that as my transition color so I'm keep blending it all that all over my lid I mean I mean I'm over my transitions color and I'm just going to pick this well, do it the same in my other eye. I'm trying to mold the faster ways I can, guys. I hate doing my makeup like this because then everything is kind of not perfect. And I will always like to have a flawless makeup and face. So, yeah, I'm just blending and blending and blending it. So, I'm just taking this equal tool brush. It's like a flat shadow brush. And I'm just taking that other color that I don't know the name of it and I'll apply it all over my lid. 
and I'm going to just pack it up slightly like pack it up on my lid I'm doing the same to the other lid and I like it I love this purple palette so pretty for summer and spring don't worry guys I just have a mess right there but I'm going to blend all that don't I promise don't worry about it so I'm just taking this other color right here which is the last one I don't know they don't have names so I'm just applying that like uh, on my crease to make it like more um, darker right there right there to so making it a little bit darker and I'm taking this other um, brow bone I think color yes and I'm going to be applying that all, all over my brow bone and do it the same on my other eye and I know I put a more in one side than the other one but I'm just going to blend that I'm trying to even it out and now I'm just blending all that mess that I did right there and blending all that together so I won't have any harsh line you know to have everything perfect you know I'm blending all these colors together so it's it's not like par by par so I'm just gonna take off this tape right now which is really hard sometimes to take out because uh it hurts sometimes but the struggle you know I'm just cleaning the part so as you can see I got a precise lines already and I love that line I always do this so I'm just gonna take this Milani um, liquid liner and I'm trying to do my best and now I oh because I was in a rush on uh, I'm doing this liner all ugly but I always do it like better than that but that was it and I'm just doing small strokes and doing it. I'm not gonna do a wing line, just, you know, regular line because I don't feel comfortable to do the wing line yet. So I will let you know guys when I'm ready. So I'm just fixing the other eye and that was it. So now I'm going to take my concealer, which is the next HD concealer and I'm going to be applying all that to highlight my under eye and I'm going to take this beauty blender from Forever 21 which I love it and just going to all blend all that all over all over all over all over so I'm keep blending it blending it and blending it now I'm just gonna do my other eye the same thing the only thing I don't like about these kind of beauty blenders is that it would take forever to blend it out. That's why I never do more foundation with beauty blenders. And I'm going to this Ben Nye Luxury Powder. And I'm just going to apply that with this um, random Walmart brush. Applying all over to set my concealer. And on the other side too. Doing the same thing next time guys I promise I'm going to be speeding up this video and I'm just curling up my um lashes and I'm going to be applying my Jordana stream best lashes you guys know that I love that and it's my only one and the only one I will be using forever and ever till the this till they discontinue it <laughs> so I'm just applying that on top I always take forever and I'm playing on the bottom and do the next one yep that's how I apply my, my, my mascara when I'm in a hurry sorry about my hair is a mess but I will fix it at the end of the video So I'm taking my e.l.f. Um, contour and blushing palette, contouring, whatever. I'm going to take this equal to a brush and I'm going to take that and I'm going to contour a little bit. My fat cheeks, I'm going to be contouring them. 
so yeah at first i didn't like this um duo thingy for now i do like it a lot i use it a lot now now that was a blemish right there or a pimple so i'm just blending in that and finish blending contouring these cheeks and i'm gonna take this jordana um blush which i don't know the name of it and i forgot and this random eco tool brush i know it's not random it's blush brush from eco tools and i'm going to be applying that on my cheeks to make them pretty for spring and more and more and more Then I will be applying it on um, this um, Hard Candy Tiki 129. Sorry, guys, I didn't show you. But, yeah, I'm applying that highlighter, which I love. And I'm taking this um, Copper Girl Oil Control, and I'm placing it on my T-Zone because my T-Zone is oily. So I'm just applying that on my T-Zone. I'm curling my lashes to make them more dramatic. Fixing my eye, touching my face, and I'm ready to do my hair, taking all these clips, whatever I have, taking all my brush, brushing my hair. Yep. So next, I'm picking up the Lipstick that I'm on wear and I decided to go with this wet and wild I don't know, but I'm going to leave everything on the description box for you guys and I'm just going to be applying that Beautiful lipstick And I have a lot of purple going on so that's the final look guys I hope you like it and thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys Mwah.